Hello guys, welcome to Vector Calculus Made Easy. This is our latest app and it is very very powerful. Let me show you why. Um, first you see here in the menu we have uh, we have taken care of all vector needs, anything that is uh, needed to or needs to be computed uh, for vectors can be done right here cross product, projection distance, angle or etc. I'll come back to it in a moment. Analytic geometry, very important section, deals with points, lines, planes, vectors. Uh, then here vectors and derivatives. You can find things such as gradient, Laplacian, curvature, torsion, divergence, curl, vector differentiation. Vector integrals is extremely powerful. Why? Because anything that is related to integrals can be done here. Arc lengths of a space curve. Um, you can also find the parametrization given to points, the fundamental theorem of calculus uh, given to points for paramized uh, curves. Line integrals can be computed here and then a variety of different line integrals based on uh, what you're given in each problem. Green's theorem in both directions or both orders dx dy and dy dx surface integrals divergence theorems uh, here depending on what coordinates you're given uh, cylinder uh, different orders again here and spherical coordinates and lastly Stokes theorem uh, with two different options. Multivariable calculus deals with the calculus of two or three dimensional uh, functions. The typical things, limits, partial derivatives, gra gradients, chain rule, tangent plane, Lagrange multiplier, and also integrals again in different orders and Laplace transforms as well. Then for linear algebra we uh, have everything that you need there. Gauss elimination, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, ortho, normal basis, uh, motion and vector valued functions, um, given velocity function, position function, you can find all uh, properties, parametric equations from eliminating parameter, to finding derivatives, tangents, curve lengths, and finally some conversions. Uh, polar to rectangular and also three-dimensional coordinates, spherical, cylinder, rectangular. So let's do some specifics. Um, very powerful is the all-in-one vector explorer. You enter um, any vector, you're given the unit vector that points in the same direction as the given vector. You see here the angle it makes with the x-axis converted to polar coordinates. And it could be a two-dimensional or can be a, a three-dimensional vector, find the length and the unit vector. Similarly, you can do the same with the two vectors. Okay, you enter two vectors and it, you can then find out um, well each length of course, their dot product, find out if they are perpendicular to each other or not, which these two are. Um, well, uh, the angle is of course in 90 degrees or pi over 2 between those two and the distance uh, the distance between the two vectors can be found here as well. Um, cross product for three dimensional vectors step by step right here for you. Negative 1, negative 7, 5 are the components of the third vector that is then perpendicular to A and B vectors. 
Okay, so let's move on. Analytic uh, geometry. Well, if you are given two lines and you want to find out where they intersect or if they intersect, <clears throat> in this case, these two lines have an intersection point at 1, 0, 1, and that occurs when the second line has an S value of 0 and the first line T value of 1. Of course, if you change values, you may not get an intersection point. It can be skewed. Uh, and the same, of course, for planes and planes and distance point to plane. And, okay, let me show you. Point to plane, you enter a point, you enter a plane, you now the normal line to the plane here, and then step by step, step by step, you get the distance uh, as a fraction. If you want it to be as a decimal, you will just have to make an input a decimal input, and then your final answer is going to be a decimal. So this is very powerful here. Um, vectors and derivatives, gradient vector field, Laplacian. So let me show you a gradient uh, vector field. Okay, gradient of a vector field would be this. You change your input. Let's say you make that x to the power of 4. You see the gradient is uh, changes right away. So let me continue. Uh, the Laplacian of a vector field can be found here. You see the formulas always provided for you. And uh, here it is uh, then evaluated for you. You end up with 2y. Curvature of a curve. You enter your curve in terms of t. This is uh, here with the three-dimensional curve, PQR, we named it. You see the steps, the derivative, each component, the tangent vector, and then the curvature is computed using this fraction. You, we end up with root 2 over 2. You can see this uh, app is very uh, comprehensive. It uh, covers all sections, and it's uh, very difficult to give you an idea of the app without taking one hour. So let me show you some examples here with vector integrals, line integrals. You enter um, the two functions. Let me scroll up. Here are the two functions, sine of x, cosine y, which I entered here. The parametrization, in this case, cosine t, sine t, from 0 to pi. Then you can see how the integral is uh, um, turned into an integral in terms of t and integrated here over the interval from 0 to pi and we end up with 0. Well, if I change from pi to let's say pi over 2, our answer immediately changes cosine of 1 plus sine 1 minus 1. So you get instant solutions right here by only changing one of the variables in your input boxes. Multivariable calculus, well, partial derivatives, you enter your uh, function right here, so you get your partial derivatives and then you can evaluate them at 1 and 4. And the function evaluated at 1 and 4 will give you 64. Chain rule, tangent plane, okay. So you enter your function and the point, two or three dimensional point you enter, and then you get your normal line and the normal vector. unit normal vector and the plane equation is right here or simplified here. Okay, multiple integrals are done step by step, Laplace transform. Let's move on to linear algebra, row um, echelon, step by step. You see what 
row one needs to be multiplied and added to row two, namely negative three times. So the new matrix is right here. Then you normalize the diagonal <coughs> until you eventually end up with the a row echelon of any matrix. Okay, so if you change the input here, you can see that the output immediately changes and we get our final answer right here. Uh, finding eigenvalues. Enter your square matrix in this case and then we find the determinant of this modified matrix set it equal to zero, find the char characteristic polynomial right here, factor that polynomial and solve it and we get the two eigenvalues lambda is negative one and four you change your matrix you change your eigenvalues immediately. The steps will always be there for you. Uh, yeah, you can find here orthonormal basis, area of a parallelogram, span of vectors, vector value functions. A parametric equation of a line passing through two vectors. Okay, let's look at this. You enter your two vectors. You take the difference of the two vectors. That's your new uh, directional vector. So the line is going to be this in terms of t. So, you can see this is very comprehensive, maybe lastly, curve lengths of a parametric equation. So you enter your parametric equation right here. You will remember your curve lengths formula is given to you right here. So we got to know the derivatives of x of t and y of t, plug them in here, and evaluate numerically the interval integral over the int uh, interval from 1 to 3 and we end up with 8.26 if we change our interval from 1 to 5 the curve length is of course longer conversions lastly 3D conversions you enter uh, say um, rectangular coordinates and then you get your cylinder coordinates and if you do if you enter the cylinder you would get the other two well this is a very comprehensive vector calculus app with analytic geometry showing step-by-step -step solutions um, available at tinspireapps.com thanks for watching